Greetings from the Eerie Coast. This is Mad Shad. Thor Vigi me Thor bless on this wonderful, wonderful Thursday. 63 degrees. It's going to be 67 degrees later on today. Uh, clear blue skies for now. Uh, <laughs> for now, I, I could always change. You know, I can do a crisscross pattern and boom, we got rain. But uh, we're not. We're not. We're supposed to have a nice day today. 67 degrees. Uh, yeah. Uh, Oh, oh, wait, wait, I see the crisscrossing. There you go. Let's see if I can do this. I can't really see. Me. And boom, there we go. Crisscross, crisscross, crisscross. Yeah, there you go. They're working on it. Uh, you know, they're, they're, they're doing it slow. But today's a great day. Tell you about those who did not have a great day. Those Americans are trapped in Afghanistan, left there by Trader Joe's militia slash head company regime. At least we forget that 13 servicemen and women died. Ab Abbey Gate, Kabul, Afghanistan, along with 200 other poor souls, 300 plus people lost arms and legs and limbs, things that don't grow back. A lot of them service members as well. Every day, never forget and never forget whose fault this is. Deploy knife hands. <laughs> but there was hope. Folks getting him out. Task Force Argo, Task Force Pineapple, Project X, this project, Dynamo Christian Coalition, Mighty Oak Foundation, just to name a few. And least we forget that 200 plus individuals are still incarcerated over the J6 debacle. Held there as political prisoners without bail, without sentencing. Uh, in, in solitary confinement, uh, you know, constant uh, interrogations and, and, you know, all kinds of, you get infringements and, in any, any kind of thing uh, they, they throw at you, you do anything wrong and boom, you're there even longer, you know, because, well, you've you violated their their judicial, their prison judicial system or whatever. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But uh, th there's a lot of committee hearings and stuff. Matt Gates, yeah, he's he's got involved. He wants to go tour some places. He talked to the uh, the lady, the, the superintendent, national superintendent of the uh, prison systems here. And she says, oh, yeah, not to my knowledge. I'm not familiar. No, da, 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 da. He's like, yeah, can I come tour? Oh, yeah, sure. You can come anytime you wish. Yeah, come on by. Come on by. Yeah. Uh, so they're, they're, they're starting to, you know, get the eyeballs out there. But still, still, you know, and they're arresting more. They're arresting a lot more. Yeah. I mean, they're really pushing this shit. But uh, we're starting to see a little bit of a, a, a change in things. Uh, let's see. Uh, yes. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Uh, that would be a segue into, into the meanwhiles. So, uh, but there is hope. There is hope for these, uh, these ladies and gentlemen, these, these incarcerated you know, political prisoners. Uh, thousands of people, family, friends, loved ones, uh, charitable organizations, law firms doing pro bono works, and even congressmen, congressmen and women, senators and representatives uh, starting to do work. Obviously of note, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, uh, she, she was probably the first uh, to start everything, you know, uh, get, a, get the eyeballs on everybody, uh, get some changes done, changes made. Uh, but yeah, still, it's falling on deaf, ear, deaf ears, you know what I'm saying? So, But there's thousands of people that are providing care packages, uh, providing uh, financial assistance for the displaced families. There's a lot of moms and dads in prisons, things of that nature. Uh, so, yeah, there is hope. Yeah, Every morning, they sing at the top of their lungs the national anthem. They make a phone call to their family, friends, and loved ones, and they sing. Oh, say, can you see... By the dawn's early light. You know that song? Uh, <laughs> our song, the national anthem. Right. Uh, so, meanwhile, uh, yes, uh, segue, meanwhile, the bat fee. Uh, yes, the bat fee. You know, take away the B and the E and you know who, who that is. But their their real name is bat fee. Uh, you know, bureau. And at the end, they also regulate explosives. So, the bat fee. Uh... <laughs> Uh, they're gonna lose some funding. Yeah, they're gonna lose a lot of funding. Uh, shit, I had it pulled up, but I think it's uh, it's a lot. It's a lot. They they're gonna lose a lot. They're only gonna get uh, most of their money. Most of the money that's going to going to the to the bat fee now 
is going to be for uh, uh, registration of, of of suppressors and you know the NFA. You know you pay your two hundred dollar tax stamp and you know do your background checks and bullshit. Uh, that's what uh, that's where the majority of their money that they're going to get uh, is going. The rest. Uh, I, I forget the percentage. I, I think it's like 13% or 17%, something like that. But that's all they get. The rest is going to uh, basically parks and recreations, <laughs> wildlife conservation, uh, you know, the national parks, shit like that. Uh, so a lot of that's getting allocated. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I looked that one up. Uh, see if I can't find this in my uh, in, in my. Uh, uh, I, I usually take screenshots of this shit and, to remind myself, which I forgot already. So anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Congratulations to that one. That fee's getting defunded. <laughs> Hardcore baby. Uh, so and, and of course, uh, meanwhile, uh, yes, Xi Jinping, the chairman of the you know CCPA, whatever the fuck, uh, makes his grand entrance into San Francisco, uh, complete with motorcades and roadblocks and waving Chinese flags, people waving Chinese flags and playing Chinese music and. What the fuck? Yeah, that's 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 basically what I gather from it. Uh, meanwhile, did you did you uh, have you noticed that the 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 president of uh, South Korea is here? Uh, rumor has it he's staying in a Days Inn and he just ordered a pizza. Uh, meanwhile, Xi Jinping is is staying at the at the Marriott, you know, and he, and he's getting two thousand dollar steak dinners, steak and lobster dinners, and you know whatever. Uh, doing blow off of hooker titties. I mean, you know, whatever. Uh, meanwhile, the you know South Korean pl uh, president is is getting takeout. <laughs> He's getting Uber, <laughs> Uber Eats. He's calling Uber Eats. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, craziness, craziness abound. But hey, you know, that's that's the uh, the world that we live in. Uh, oh, uh, all of D.C. is on lockdown. Every every government building is on lockdown. Basically, two hundred thousand hummus uh, supporters. You know, the the hummus, the, the the dip that you make out of chickpeas and you use pita bread. Uh, so yeah, a lot of these these uh, hummus eaters has has uh, have taken over basically uh, uh dc and, and it's it's going bad it's, it's pretty you're not you're not getting to see a lot of this you're not you're not uh lots of violence lots of lots of uh, uh property destruction things of that nature but hey it's mostly peaceful right uh, meanwhile uh let's see uh, potato has unlocked more money for uh iran <laughs> To the ten billion dollars worth, or something. Uh, so <laughs> we, we, and everybody's like, "Well, why, 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 why are we doing that?" Well, that's that's what Barry wants. Barry wants a war with Iran. Uh, we, so what better way? Uh, for the most part, you know, Iran is just going to be like, eh, "We don't really want a whole full-scale war or anything. We just want a low-intensity conflict." Right, uh, but you know, what better way than to give them the ways and means to to wage war, proxy wise, you know, uh, than to unlock all this money, hmm. you know, because it's it's been uh, you know it's not money that we gave them; it's money that they have sitting in a fucking account somewhere that we we put sanctions on them. Sanctions, right? Uh, the sanctions have been lifted by Potato himself. Uh, basically, well, Barry actually, uh, and uh, yeah, that's 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 what we're doing. It, it, this goes back to the five-year plan that was that was uh, uh, opened up. Uh, we we got wind of it from that one general who retired, and he just let it all out. He's like, "Oh yeah, we're gonna take over the Middle East. We got a five-year plan." What? Uh, really? Yeah, yeah. We're just gonna take it all over. Uh, and here's the plan. <laughs> and of course, it involves. Israel. So, uh, you know, hey, uh, yeah, good times, right? Good fucking times. Shout out to all you, uh, all you service members out there, the military that are serving in this, in this shit storm. Be safe, please be safe. 
just just be safe uh, it, it sucks it sucks you know watching them go to war for the elites basically yeah anyway uh, I got shit to do uh, so gotta get out of here Go Team Linda! Go Team Linda! Fuck cancer. She is kicking ass, taking names, and getting stronger by the day. Um, her her scans are coming back, and they are smaller or not gone, or or just gone. Uh, the the cancers and tumors are just so. Uh, yeah, the 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 uh, the chemo that she's running, uh, the poison that she's in in you know taking, it's it's working. Uh, go Team Baby Harper! Go Team Baby Harper! Uh, no updates as of yet. I can only assume the best because she was on the men's already. Uh, and hopefully she will, I, I'll try to get a, some kind of update for you. Uh, but it's on Facebook. You can go check her out and they have, they have, uh, GoFundMes and all that stuff, uh, for her. But, uh, yeah. So the, the, the baby is, you know, go team, go team baby Harper. And uh, go Team Christy! Go Team Christy! Hear, hearing good things about her, she is uh, kicking ass and taking names. Uh, and I'm gonna add one more, and that's uh, go Team uh, Miss Tomcat. I, I I can't for the life of me remember her name, uh, or maybe it's probably you know shouldn't say it. But yeah, go Team Miss Tomcat. She uh, she's been rushed to the hospital and going through some things, having seizures. Uh, so so go give Tomcat. Uh, some love there um, so yes anyway uh, you, know, you just heard that that means they're they're firing it back up and I got to get back to it so this has been Mad Shad every day never forget